April 18th, Blessed Mary of the Incarnation. She was born February 1st in the year 1566 and died April 18th in the year 1618. Both of her parents were members of the most ancient families of that great city. Before she was born, several other children had seen the light of day, but all died in their infancy. During the time her mother awaited this child, she vowed her to the Blessed Virgin and St. Claude promising to clothe her in white until the age of seven and to offer her in a church of the Blessed Virgin. She was born a very healthy baby and baptized with the name of Barbara on the day after the purification of Our Lady. She was of a gentle temperament and an angelic modesty, and at the age of eleven was placed as an intern student in a religious house of the Order of St. Clair near Paris. She continually advanced in virtue and felt great distaste for all the things of this world, along with an insatiable ardor for those of heaven. When she returned home at the age of fourteen, she wished to enter a religious order for the care of the sick in Paris, but her parents opposed this plan. Her mother informed her she would never permit her to become a nun. The young girl believed God was speaking to her through her mother and obeyed. Several offers of marriage having been presented before her 18th birthday, she married a man of great nobility, piety, and charity. Six children were born to them, and their pious mother raised them with great care. She taught them never to complain of circumstances or persons, inspired them in horror of lying, and strove to make them recognize in their hearts any sentiments of vainglory. Her three daughters became Carmelites, and her three sons entered in turn the magistracy, the priesthood, and the military. When her husband encountered difficulties of a political nature, his household was seized and the very furniture where the family was seated at the table was removed from beneath them. She accepted these circumstances without growing troubled and, in fact, defended her husband in court, drafting memoirs, writing letters, and furnishing proofs of his innocence. He was acquitted and enabled to return to the city after three years. Blessed Mary was also so sage in her almsgiving that during a famine the wealthy persons who desired to help the poor caused their alms to pass through her hands, and so this holy woman was universally honored. She entered into the spirit of the current reforms of the religious orders and the foundations of new congregations which were reviving the spirit of piety in France. Through her efforts, she merited the title Foundress of the Carmelites in France. Six nuns from Spain brought the spirit of St. Therese with them, and soon the principal cities of France had a house of this order. Blessed Mary of the Incarnation also contributed to the works of the first Ursulines in Paris for the education of youth and to the establishment of the Oratorians of Italy in France. When her worthy spouse died in the year 1613, she then requested admission to the Carmelite order herself. She arrived saying, I am a poor beggar who asks of you the divine mercy, and that I may cast myself into the arms of religion. She died in the year 1618 on Wednesday of Easter week, at the age of 52 years, loved and praised by all who had known her. She was beatified on April 24th in the year 1791 by Pope Pius VI.